Opened in October 2013 by the president of Somerville College, Demi John has been a popular attraction for foodies in Oxford. The store bases itself on small, homegrown producers who make delicious and quite frankly remarkable liquid drinks, dressings and liqueurs. Hello, my name is Darren Anderson and I'm the Oxford Store Manager. I started 10 years ago in Edinburgh, um, the Managing Director Angus Ferguson had this concept of a lovely sort of bodega, cantina style shop where you can bring bottles and fill them up with wonderful small scale handmade. The concept is you pick a bottle, you pick a liquid out of one of our many 60 odd things and you can bring the bottle back when you fill it. They're all very much making it for the love instead of for money purposes. So we give them that boost by helping them promote their wonderful products. So we're helping the small people and they're helping us. And um, you can just tell, you taste a few and you realise that there's a lot more than just factory made thing. Some of them come with the fruit content that goes into the, bit, the vinegars per se are just it's unbelievable. Liquid jams, they're doing this. So I'm going to try some of the products now. Darren, what's this? Alright, this is a Bramble Scotch Whiskey Liqueur. So it's a five-year-old Lola Malt Whiskey mixed with Brambles and Heather. It's actually the first liqueur we ever had. Right. And the owner's friends were making it in their bathtub just for fun because they kept getting whiskey they weren't big a fan of. So they kept adding fresh brambles and honey and then passing it on as gifts. So they took it to a dinner party that Angus was there, I don't know, and then uh, tried it. And he loved it so much, he just asked them to keep making it. Um, so no longer, yes, it's no longer made in the bathtub. I don't think health and safety would be fan of that anymore. But um, they've refined it, they've picked the whiskey, and it's still, after 10 years, they're probably one of our top three. Wow, yeah, that's right. Really and how strong is this, bearing in mind it's the morning? It's only 23%, so it's very much a liqueur, but you taste the whiskey, but it's not got the burn. Um, it's very similar to a sort of slow gin, very good in a hip flask, which you warm, really fruity. That's nice, that's yeah. really nice, yeah. Um, not too overpowering. No, no, some people don't like the overpowering nature of whiskey, so that kind of, it's yeah. a good balance. Yeah, that's really nice, you can taste the kind of honey in there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Darren. That's absolutely remarkable. I'm so glad I've come and found out about this hidden gem in Oxford. It's not a problem. Oxford students, forget Tesco value. If you want the finest liqueur, you know where to go. This is Naluka Kavanagh, reporting for Chairwell.